Hello, everybody. Welcome to the January 2020 webinar session of how to manage documents in Bill.com. Our objectives for the session are to learn how to access and view the Bill.com inbox, explain what you can do with documents in the Bill.com inbox, recall the different storage options for the documents in the Bill.com inbox, and understand the best practices for documents in the inbox. Accessing your Bill.com inbox is simple. Begin by clicking inbox on the left in the blue navigation bar. We can see here, we have two different options for viewing your inbox. The top left-hand side shows us the list view where all of your documents are populated in list form. As soon as you open a document from your list, all of the documents and extra attachments are gonna to populate to the right-hand side. Down on the bottom, we can see that we are in the grid view which is populating those documents as thumbnails. One thing to note is that you are not going to lose any information if you are in grid view or list view. It is a user preference how you would like to view your inbox. You can sort, delete, or mark as spam on an individual level for each of the documents. We can see here that I have selected two documents and above that, I have the ability to sort by newest or oldest. I can delete and I can mark as spam. If you choose to delete or mark as spam, you are going to receive pop-up boxes as shown here and you are going to need to confirm that you would like to either delete the document or delete it and mark it as spam. You can always access your deleted or spam documents in the history tab, and we will show you that in a future slide. You can associate individual pages within a batch of documents. You can also delete, download, zoom out, zoom in, and rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. We can see here that I have selected the associate to bill box and on the right hand side I have all of the options for this document of everything that was just referenced. You can click on more actions and that is going to allow you to see the variety of ways to process your document. You can also move on to creating a bill by clicking on enter bill. After you've clicked on the more actions drop down, you can click on add to existing to add the document to an existing bill or vendor credit. You can click on add to recent to add the document to a previously existing entity. We can see here in the top left-hand corner, I have selected add to existing, and I get those options to either add it to a bill or vendor credit. Down below, we see that I have selected add to recent, and I have the ability to add either all of my pages or just the current page to a previously existing entity. From the More Actions drop-down, you also have the ability to click on Enter Vendor Credit to create a vendor credit from the document. Click on Payment Received to process an accounts receivables payment. Click on Mark as Spam to remove the document. There are several options for the storage of documents in Bill.com. Once you have selected the More Actions drop-down, you can click on New Document 4, which is going to give you the ability to add the document to one of the following, Company, Account, Customer, Invoice, Payment Received, or Vendor. 
Bill.com offers unlimited storage so you can organize all of your documents in one easy place. Documents can be saved to a folder structure. We can see here in the screenshot, I have selected documents over to the left in the blue sidebar. Once I have opened the document section, at the top, you can also see that I still have the ability to access documents and folders from within this screen as well. You can create new folders to store your documents. So once you click on documents in the left navigation pane, you're going to want to go ahead and click on folders. Once you click on folders, you can click new in the top right hand corner of the screen. Go ahead and enter a folder name and select a parent folder if applicable. Go ahead and click Save. Viewing the documents in history. You're going to want to click on Inbox and then click on History, which is a tab located near the top of the screen. You can click on the drop down to sort based on your user needs. Once you have sorted, details shown are going to include added by either user name or email address, file name, added on the date, which is going to be the date and also the timestamp, number of pages of the file, and file size. You can click on the file name to view the document. Every document to ever arrive to the Bill.com inbox is stored in inbox history, regardless if it was subsequently deleted, added to a bill, etc. Documents cannot be permanently deleted from history. You can, however, restore, which would be undelete, or remove them from a bill, which would be unassociate from the inbox history which will move the document back to the inbox for processing. Please note, you must have inbox permissions to view and edit documents in the inbox or inbox history. There are some best practices we suggest for the bill.com inbox. Review the file type. Generally speaking, files that are of types PDF, Word files, Excel files, text, GIF, PNG, and JPEG will reliably upload. Regardless of the file size of a given document, the bill.com inbox cannot press process documents that are more than 250 pages long. To upload a longer document, you are going to need to split it into multiple documents so that each section has less than 250 pages. Any file sent to the bill.com inbox must be smaller than 25 megabytes. If a file is larger than 25 megabytes, you are going to need to look at ways to reduce its size before sending the file to the bill.com inbox. To ensure that all documents are delivered to the bill.com inbox, we do not filter any emails sent to the inbox email address. If spam arrives to the inbox, you can attempt to unsubscribe from future emails. You can find the information contained in this webinar, as well as additional tips and tricks for document management within our support center. That concludes our webinar for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you have learned some valuable information about how to manage your documents in Bill.com.